Ari, Jordi Prepper here and welcome to another video. I'm just going through my stuff, my preps. I'm going to be taking up cycling again soon. So I'm really just going through my cycling gear. I'm still using the the Camelback. Um, on the back here I've got the Guardian light. It's a really really good rear light and you can see it from miles away basically if the the battery is brand new it's it's really really bright head on just in case I do have to spend the night somewhere poncho it doubles as a tent along with the poncho I've got like a, a ground sheet pack this is a there's like a top uh, a ground sheet I've got pegs in there as well this is just cheap pegs from a pound shop and I've got an emergency tent. You know, if I don't have time to make a shelter out of the poncho, I could always just stick this up, you know. I mean, it's just a throwaway, one-time use only. You know, if I just need to dive into somewhere quick, I can use that. The I've got a survival kit here. This was inspired by main prepper. There's a first aid kit in there as well, basic first aid kit, multi-tool. Uh, like I said, I'll go into more detail with it. This is really just a quick video about what I'm checking. And obviously if I'm checking my, my cycling equipment, this bag, no matter what distance I do, it always comes with me when I'm cycling. This survival box is an order box. Just as an extra on the bar, on the survival box, there's a compass. I just got this compass quite recently it was to replace a button compass which had a um, air pocket in it so it was useless uh, I've got an emergency whistle I can call for help on that if I need to and I've got a little Gerber light this is just some cordage I don't really use these because I'm wearing shorts most of the time when I'm out cycling but I take them with me just in case Spare batteries, these are three triple A's. The triple A batteries go into this torch. So there's spares for this. This is like an emergency light backup torch for my front cycle light. In here I've just got some um it's a basic it's just a a multi-tool, but I've also got a Fresnel lens. Um just some hand Sensitive hand gel, uh, basically just to sterilize the hands if I'm uh, doing first aid on myself or someone else. Speaking of first aid, this is just the first aid kit I take. It's, it's got some uh, eye wash in there and it's, it really is just basic boo-boo kit. It's nothing spectacular. I mean, I don't really carry that much first aid with me. But I am thinking of changing the first aid that I do take with me. Sunglasses. It can just help to keep things out of the eyes. And, you know, just it can just help on the road. Because you do get sometimes some little chippings that pop up from vehicles. And this is the main bike toolkit. I mean, this is what... Now, touch wood, I've never even actually had to even repair a puncture on my bike in all the times that I've been out on my bike and all the distances I've done I've never actually had a flat tire and I've probably jinxed it now but and if anything does go wrong then this is the cycle kit um, one addition I did add was the pencil sharpener that was in case I need to spend the night and I can just stick a twig in there and I can make some really good um, uh, shavings to start a fire with um, so that's in. That's why the that's why the pencil sharpener's in there. And obviously, in case I do have a flat tire, uh, I've got a pocket rocket cycle pump, and I've just got a bag here. It's just a plastic bag. Um, I could use it to put rubbish in or anything else, you know, that I might need to stick in there. Um. I do also forage sometimes when I'm out on bikes, so that's why the other reason why the bag's there, just to put some foragings in. I also just have a pack of tissues. 
Um, and I've got a, like a brand new uh, emergency blanket. Could be used for myself or someone else. And then I got the uh, two peak. Uh, it's like a mini ratchet set. Um, it's really, really good. It covers many different sizes. Um, the ratchet's really high quality. Um, we've got some additional tool there. The most important thing I really check really is just that the batteries are intact. Uh, but that's it really. The only other thing really that goes in there is the water bladder. But everything else is pretty much is pretty much how I had it from the last time I, um, I did a video on my cycle bag. So make sure that if you take anything with you, uh, you know, that you have checked it. Because like, like the old saying goes, right? It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So, you know, to go out on your bike and not have a cycle kit puncture a pair kit is really really silly also to go out and not have a first aid kit is really really silly and you know think about anything else that you might need so you might need some uh, sunscreen depending on the weather you might need some something to repel insects as well obviously you know it's summer here so there's going to be a lot of flies midges etc yeah, but that's it really. Uh, and also, you know, just kind of plan for worst case scenario as best you can. You can't carry everything, obviously, when you're cycling, but you can do the best you can. And obviously, it it hasn't happened to me very often, but you can come across like accidents, road accidents. So, you know, just have a little bit of basic first aid knowledge with you, whether that's an app on a phone, um, first aid kit. Um, or something else, you know, which could help others whilst you're out and about. And just be aware that to be seen when you're cycling, make sure your lights are working, you know, get yourself some, fl at least some reflective gear on you, whether that's your jacket or, um, or your gloves. My cycle gloves have reflective parts on them as well. And that's it, guys. So, um, get out there on your bike, you know, get your, your physical fitness is your number one prep. Be safe, be prepared, and I'll see you in the next video.